Hi everybody, we're live on the island of Sodor, waiting for a new Thomas and Friends All Engines Go toy review. During my holiday in Blackpool, two of the things I got were the new motorised Thomas and Friends All Engines Go talking engines. With the garbage engine and Kana the high speed engine. And boy do they look amazing. And if you're wondering why they're not in their boxes still, it's because I was too tempted to find out what the rest of their phrases were, so I just couldn't resist opening them. But don't worry, I have saved some pictures of the boxes for you, of both Whiff and Kana, front and back. Although, one thing that puzzles me is, well, the 2023 Talking Thomas is present. I don't think they've ever released him in the UK yet. In fact, I don't know if the UK is ever going to release this version. But in my honest opinion, I don't really see the point of bringing in another Thomas. Especially since we've got the... Um, Dockside Thomas from the Talking Panky Delivery Train set. And also, I've seen some videos of this Thomas and most of the phrases are pretty much the same as the 2022 Talking Thomas, but different voice recordings. Or different way of saying them. But, I, like I said, I don't see the point of making another Talking Thomas when the only thing that I can guess is different is adding character names that weren't present, like Whiff, The Troublesome Truck, or Cranky. Mm. Yeah. I... Anyways... Let's dive right into the review. So, for starters, here's Whiff. The facial expression looks very good. And you'll easily notice that this is the first motorised whiff model to have porthole stickers. I mean, the original motorised whiff lacked that detail. Hmm. And now for the sides. Here is the side. I really love the stinky details. It really brings the character to life. And uh, on the side there you can see Penelope from the Series 2 episode, What's in a Name? And some metal cans, more bin bags. And on his roof, he doesn't have a whistle valve. Unlike the original Talking Whiff. I mean, the original Whiff. But either way, this is a really nice model. And now, for Kana. That face is amazing. Although, I don't know if it's the same as the motorised regular Kana. Just with some added twinkle effects. And there's the side. Little lightning bolts there. Looks pretty good. Still has four wheels. Mm. Now let's go to the rolling stock that each character contains or comes with. So for starters, here's Whiff's rolling stock. Get a greyish blue hopper car. And then we get a flatbed that has Whiff's invention from the Series 2 episode, Stink Monster, The Room 3000. And if you're wondering if it's compatible with Whiff, of course it is. His funnel is the right size. And boy, he looks amazing. But please note, the Vroom 3000 only works with certain All Engines Go Steam Engines funnels. Nia's is an exception because her front lamp gets in the way. Um, same applies to Percy because his big boiler will get in the way. And 
here is the regular width with the Vroom 3000, and that looks pretty good as well. And now, here is Carla's rolling stock. We get a flatbed that has the soda cup, as if we didn't need another one already. Mm, a purple hopper car. Although, like with Ushima's flatbed, I don't get why they left this hopper car's buffer beam red when they could have just made it purple to reflect Kana even more. And uh, speaking of that flatbed, it's jarringly different from the flatbed that comes with the Deliver the Wind Diesel Greatest Moments pack. It's not hard to see why. And I'm um, just going to get the other Sonal Cups to see if I can spot any other differences. Mm. Well, hang on. Here, <laughs> well, nothing much is the same except for the darker colour of the cup. Like I said, as if we didn't need another one already. And um, gonna get them ready so um, I can show you what they do. And uh, here are the engines on the layout. So, Let's see what they can do, shall we? Wait, Connor! Ah, oh, good. Go out of the way.
Okay. Oh, and uh, I've had this rumour fly inside my head that the original series Talking Engines called Kana Rebecca because I've heard on some reviews when Series 1 of All Engines Goes Leap trailer came out back in January 2021, you know, back when the show was originally going to be the 25th series of Thomas and Friends, or at least the second attempt at a 25th series. Some reviewers said that Kana replaced Rebecca in the main cast, but I've now came to the conclusion that the rumours are false, as the OG engines just call Kana friend. I'm gonna get in some cargo for Cranky. So I'm gonna get his hook on the claw and load the garbage into Whip's hopper car. Recognize the troublesome truck. That's cool. Now they can make their deliveries. Ooh, now this is interesting to see. And by the way, if you're wondering where the hopper is, I removed it because. The Vroom 3000 got in the way when I was testing it. I mean, the Vroom 3000 on top of Whip's funnel.
dot with there. make Whip's train a bit more interesting. There we go. Now that's more garbage like. Oh, steady. Don't want things going to waste. As a change, have Kana carry Annie and Clarabelle. Just thought I'd try something new. Sometimes Annie and Clarabelle can get a bit, my Annie and Clarabelle can get a bit finicky. Hmm. Generation all engines go talking engines have Kana programmed. Now that's interesting. Hmm. Maybe I'll bring in the mail train. Well, of course, so Percy can pull it. And uh, I really love Whip and Percy's heartwarming dynamic in the series two episode Thomas for a Day. Yeah, 
guess if only the motorised AEG engines can move that. Just like what you see in the show. Wait, Percy. And by the way, Whiff shares the same brake sound as Thomas and Percy, and shares and the same puffing sounds as Thomas. a little break from garbage duties. Um, maybe have Mia oh, mind the beach ball that ran away. Kana can take Crystal ball. Two main girls.
think Kana probably recognises the troublesome truck too. Sorry, but Mia's left with garbage duties. Not that I'm being racist or anything. Or maybe unload the garbage. And yes, that was one of those rare instances where Kana actually uses her horn sound. All other times, she just makes zapping sounds. Although for Wolf's case, I can understand why he makes mechanical noises, because his whistle sound wasn't revealed at that time. And, uh, maybe, um, Kana can help Thomas with a, ooh, um, careful not to drop the crate next time, Elias, with a cargo race, yes, kind of like the motorised pack of the same name, I'm gonna, have Cranky get hold of the crate till Thomas comes. Maybe Carla would have already picked up the freight. Thomas will set off. Fire! This is an exciting race! Who will reach Brendan Docks first? Thomas or Kana? Thomas wins the cargo race!
Hmm. I love the way Dockside Thomas says Sky Valley. Oh, that's what makes this part even funnier. And uh, since the talking Connor and whiff I got are from the UK, I bet it's Matt Coles and Chloe Raphael doing the voices of Whiff and Kana respectively. Okay. Kana, time to drop off your freight. Well, Kana, that's enough racing, I think. And uh, maybe Whiff can go back to hauling garbage. including the Wave 1 AEG engines, call with friend.
so much fun to be had. Have them talk a few more times before we end the video. I said, I'm really happy to own these toys in my collection. I win. Ah. 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 Ah.
Constipation at its finest. These are such amazing toys. If you're a fan of Thomas and Friends or Legends Go, I recommend you get them. Oh, and uh, each engine, as I forgot to mention in the previous review, has a glowing lamp whenever they talk and make noise. Maybe for this last shot, I'll put the Vroom 3000 back on his funnel. Magnificent. Couldn't have put it better myself, mate. And uh, that wraps up the whole video. I cannot wait to get the new talking motorised all engines go Gordon and James when they come out soon. I mean, it's taken, it feels like it's taken them until now to make an AEG Gordon and James in the talking range. I mean, after all, the, the Wave 1 AEG engines did have program did have Gordon and James as the list of names it, they programmed to say mm. and as for the other person and as for the new Percy 
Mm, I'm gonna say the same thing about Thomas. The 2023 Thomas, obviously. Mm. Why do we even need another Percy when all that's different is just giving some new names to the list that wasn't on the previous version, like We're For Cranky, and the voice recordings, if they're going to be said differently. If, it, if they're going to be said differently, but said as the exact same in the script of the 2022 Talking Engines. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video, and make sure you subscribe for more content.